today we're going to be revisiting an older video to see what sold, what I made a profit on, and what I probably could have left on the shelf. So we are here today at the Shillington Goodwill and we are going to head in and see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit. Here we go. What is this? Ooh, that looks like it could be something. And there's no chips or cracks on it. $1.99. Puppy Love fits in Floyd. Yeah, there's no chips on that either. I really love the shape of that. Yeah, $4.99 on that vintage lamp. That's worth at least $25. Yeah, I might pick that up. It's a reasonable size when it comes to shipping and also taking photographs. Is this a complete set? Looks like it could be. Gagney usually picks these up, but she's not here with me today. I love the colors on the finished products, and it does look like it was never used. So I'll give that one a shot. I like the looks of that back there. What is that? Riger design? Hmm. That is a sweet little dish. Home is where your cat is. Aww. $1.99. Clearly it is contemporary, but I think that's very sweet. And $1.99, there's a few, a few dollars to be made there. It's actually an art pottery mug. The bottom is slightly crude. I kind of wonder if it's a raccoon because it is uh, blackened on the bottom. KZ14. Hmm. That's $1.99. I could probably make a little bit, but I think I'm going to leave it. I'm going to check these out. Those look like, oh, they are George Briard. Haha, <laughs> look at that. George Briard. They are marked. The tape concerns me, though. And I do feel some rough spots along the edge. Not terrible. I think only one dish has rough spots. Hmm. $1.99. That's a bucket piece for George Briard. Church Hill. That looked like it had more age than it actually does. Shelves are a little cluttered here, so I'm trying to make sure that I've seen everything before I move on. I really love the texture of this lamp. It's kind of like a denim texture. $2.99. It strikes me as probably something that was sold at Target or something. What in the world is that thing down there? That needs investigating. What is it even? <laughs> Made in China. It's like a giant skeleton. It's $6.99. That is a great Halloween piece. Gosh, even though it's made in China, I'm very tempted. <laughs> Just because it's super cool. I don't know though. Is it worth hanging on to? Probably not. I think I'm going to leave it for somebody else to pick up. It's very, very heavy. What in the world is that? <laughs> there is no explanation. It's not even signed. It's very strange though. It reminds me of that meme. I wish there was, there was some sort of signature or something on it. $2.90. This could be a lost Picasso. It's probably not likely. I'm a little tempted to buy it because it's weird and I love weird stuff. For $2.99. You know what? I can make it I can make at least 10 bucks on that. More if somebody else is into the weirdness. That is very heavy. And uh, what is it? Definitely molded glass. I'm looking to see if there's any signatures on it because it is so heavy. But I'm not seeing anything. And the clear glass just isn't really a seller for me. Paper craft. $1.99. Hmm. 
I'd get that for Juliet, but I feel like she would probably just get frustrated with that. It looks to be a little difficult. I don't think that that was here the first time I came through. <laughs> Obviously something is missing off the front. I'm very confused by this. I mean, I think it's the mother who lived in the shoe or something like that. Made in Japan. It's unfortunate that it is missing something. Here's a little more George Briard. You can see the signature there on those. I was browsing through here to see if I could find um, the sake bottle that goes with those two that I picked up, but I wasn't having any luck. The design on those is really nice. It's not terribly worn. A lot of the times when these are put through the dishwasher, they, uh, they get really worn out. It's a nice block pattern. I have walked past this a few times and I think it finally registered that it was a moon because it was on the shelf like that. I'm just registering it as a wooden box. But this appears like it could have been uh, homemade. Uh, folk art primitive. Uh, it's a moon nightlight. And I, I kind of like that for $2.99. I bet it looks amazing when it's illuminated. It is an Otigiri ashtray, OMC, Otigiri Mercantile something, company, maybe? I really love the chartreuse color of that. Okay, well I think I'm probably going to start wrapping this up. Uh, they are still stocking and that's why I've hung around as long as I have, but I feel like I should probably get on the road and start heading home. Okay, well my total spend here today at the Shillington Goodwill was $43. I feel like we got some really great stuff today. Like it was just so sprinkled in, it took us a while, but I'm obsessed with that moonlight. I'm excited to plug that in and see what it looks like. And also that fused glass plate was fantastic. We got some, some decent stuff we just had to really hunt for. <laughs> but I love, I love the hunt. I think that's, you know, the thrill of the hunt, finding the good stuff. So anyway, I'm gonna get out of here now. I'm going to head on down the road towards home. I've got about an hour and 15 minute drive, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see all of you tomorrow. So, Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day and I've posted a link to that down in the description. If you enjoyed this video, we will be posting videos just like this every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. So make sure you stay tuned, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And I have included a link to the playlist down in the description.